Okay, good morning, everybody. Yeah, so just now the video is about the 6G. You can see that is uh, the technology is uh, advancing and most of us still not aware about it. Uh, right now, we already have the driverless car, etc. And all thanks to the technology. So is uh, 6G will be using the terahertz wave, uh, which is uh, currently our tech, no, uh, the the THZ device is also using this uh, wavelength. Okay, now one moment. Okay. Sorry, huh? Can I go? Okay, so uh, let's start today's Zoom. Yeah, before we start, there are some guidelines for the free the webinar. Switch off your video if you are not in a proper attire. So make sure you wear your clothes, huh? And do not interpret. Uh, and do not uh, <coughs> do not interrupt in between by unmuting your device. So we respect the the speaker. We don't. We just stay mute. Uh, let the finish the presentation, not to have any interruption. And do not allow children to disrupt the flow of presentation. If you have any children, you just mute your mic and stop the video. Yeah, and keep a pen and paper to write down the points we share, or you can uh, just take a picture. Oh, as this is a platform is sharing of knowledge free. And if you want more, please contact the expert. Yeah. So if you have any uh, chronic disease, yes, you still need to go back to your doctor. Yeah. Yeah. So we here is just to share. Uh, <clears throat> about the knowledge on the the water yeah so uh my name is angie i'm the host for today and today's speaker will be dr prabhu uh, and uh, today's uh, topic is on the uh, already episode 17 is on detox so dr prabhu has a uh, <clears throat> mbbs and uh, many certificate uh, like you see them from uk and uh genetic wellness consultant and he's also a member of the european wellness academy so right now in in fact uh, dr prabhu is also have a clinic in the clan and helping the patients uh, doing some uh, uh, medical advice giving a medical advice huh? so it's all about the uh, cellular besides that dr prabhu also never stopped learning he keep uh, learning uh, do research on some water and so that can um, have a better way to treat the patients huh? yeah so so ghts is a, brings a health revolution through the education so we really thankful to dr prabhu willing to spend his time to share with us uh, the some knowledge from medical point of view of course we also need to thank uh, the company this platform the rej that give us a opportunity to group together uh, to to have a good health and a good wealth huh? and of course the first person who bring in george we should uh, thank him as well and in the malaysia and in uh, singapore and many countries already right now yeah so without further delay let's welcome dr prabhu on board yes dr prabhu very very, very good morning to you angie and to the beautiful souls almost 55 people are there on on board today uh, let's take the flight off right now. Let's gain the momentum. And uh, I think uh, what you posted, uh, the YouTube one regarding the 60 is something very, very amazing. As this guy was very excited, I'm also excited for the reason that in, in the human journey, we all need to understand that when you look at 100 years, 200 years ago, and then now there are a lot of changes which has been happening. The uh, industrialization revolution of our the way we communicate is all been happening but certain basic things has not changed at all like for example you want to eat your food you still have to either use your hand or spoon to put it inside your mouth this is a very simple thing and we still use toilets the same way what we were using before probably it was in the open uh, the grounds before but now we have an enclosed one and that too now we have last time it was outside the house now inside the bedroom next to the bedroom only we all have built a toilet so that things are but these are all situations where we are actually trying to move forward make convenience as our uh, 
uh, tool so that things are much more easier. Now, whatever the advancement, uh, the, the improvement we have all done in, in terms of technology, ultimately there is something we all need to understand is whatever garbage you collect, you need to throw it out. This is a very simple one. Every day you collect garbage, you need to throw it out. So the same way, detox is something for our human body wherein we are going to throw away the toxins which knowingly or unknowingly gets collected over a period of time. Now, when it's getting collected over a period of time without your knowledge, what is the only way for you is to remove it slowly and probably if you can do it on a weekly basis, definitely it will be better. If you can do it on a monthly basis, definitely it's very good. But if you have never done that before, that is when we all start facing problems. Now, that is the reason that I chose this topic. It's a huge, huge topic, especially if you're talking about detox. There are uh, almost six different uh, detox available, especially in terms of uh, mental detox, your physical detox, environmental detox, and so on and so forth. We have many, many, many. Now, in that, what I'm trying to tell you today is we are all here on a platform to learn something. And of course, water is the basis wherein uh, it's going to be water. But at the end of the day, we all need to understand that we need to complement all the information, including the food we eat, everything, and then get into the healthy mode. So the first step towards a detox is you have to detox is to become healthy. You need to detox first. This is the first step. Very simple. Now, just for your information, it's like the donkey carrying all the luggage without it knowing that the, the person has put all the luggage on the donkey, but the donkey will carry it and go. It will never tell the owner, sir, this is too heavy, I can't carry it. It just carries until if the weight is too much, it will just crumble down and fall. This is what will happen for a donkey. Now, we are also like donkeys carrying all the toxic heavy metals in our body without our knowledge. This is the most beautiful part of our journey. We don't even know that we are carrying the heavy metals in us. Now, what happened was because I landed up in a, in a field called epigenetics five years, six years ago, 2015, I came to understand that these toxic heavy metals play such an important role in every metabolism and every cellular health that what is happening is, uh, just give me a minute, I need to connect. Now. I just want to the, uh, one minute, one minute, I'm going to connect. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> so the heavy metals is the one which has been, uh, you know, something which I noticed that this is causing a lot of problems for our health. And most of the time, the moment a person goes to a doctor for uh, a particular situation like a diabetes or a blood pressure or a kidney issues or a cancer, the first thing uh, we doctors are trained is basically we are trained to diagnose the problem. Now, what we say is, okay, you have a diabetes, isn't it? Okay, fine. What we do is we do all the investigation to prove that you have diabetes. Means whatever the sugar is higher, but we do not look into why is that situation arising for you to get that particular uh, metabolic situation. It's a diabetes. So what happens is we just put you on some drugs and then you know you start uh, taking the medication. Of course, we are very happy after three months, four months, you see your diabetic under control, your sugar. Is. But we fail to understand that even though the sugar is under control, after five or 10 years, you will see that the same person who has been having the diabetes will go to the next step. It can be uh, you know, the blurring of vision, it can be the kidney issues, it can be the heart issues, it can be the blood pressure, it can be the cholesterol issues, anything. But if the sugar has been controlled very well, why is the complication happening? This is a question you all, I think we need to ask ourselves. If we are all under control, why are we facing the situation? Now, this is when I found that there is something called toxic metals, chemicals are there, then radiation. These are the three major uh, stumbling blocks for us to move forward into getting into healthy. In that toxic metals, there are around 25 different toxic metals available. But for us, we need to look at the lead, aluminium, mercury, cadmium, and arsenic. These are the five major ones which are really, really causing a lot of problems. For example, if I have to talk about just lead alone, if your forgetfulness, if you're forgetting, especially 50 plus, and then 
you may not notice it, but it will be there with you. You know, you keep something and then you go on searching for it. Now, lead is one of the major uh, poisoning which will be attached to your cells in the brain. Now, if it is in the brain, definitely you will have forgetfulness. But if it is in the other parts of the body, for example, if it is in your uh, kidneys, of course, the kidneys will start working lesser. And then, of course, we will look for uh, your creatinine level, your urea level. All this we'll see and then see, yes, your kidney is having an issue. But what is the problem? It's because of the lead. Now, how are we going to? And many times you will be surprised that the lead poisoning can be there in your body for more than 25 years. You won't even know that you have a lead poisoning inside. But this lead, over a period of time, it can affect all the hormones. Like women, they can have polycystic uh, ovaries, then uh, polycystic kidneys can be there, and there can be some hormonal disturbance with the periods. And for others, it might be a thyroid issue. Others, it might be like, especially women having uh, hairs on the face. It's, it's because more testosterone is there because it's a hormonal disruptor. I would say it's a hormonal. These heavy metals are all hormonal disruptors. So what we need to understand is these heavy metals are not at all good for your body. So we need to remove them as soon as possible, but we are still exposed to the toxic uh, every day. So that means even if you start to, it may take another two to three years for you to really slowly remove it, but still you're collecting. So what we need to understand is please give your body an opportunity to detox on a regular basis, change the way you are eating your food, your lifestyle, your mindset, all you need to change. That is when you can have a proper healthier body for you to move forward. Now, from where do these toxins come? How do the toxins damage our body? Symptoms of how when the toxins are getting overloaded and what do we do? These are all the situation I'm going to. So today it's going to be a little more on this detox because once you understand this, then we can understand how we can complement by drinking the right water and then supporting our body with the right nutrition. All these we can do. Number one, what we need to understand, where does this toxin come from? Very simple, huh? Number one. We are exposed to the environmental toxic all the time. Huh? Every second we are exposed. So what we need to do is we need to understand number one. See, water. Even though we are talking about Tarahat's water, but the water we have been drinking all the while is a polluted water. And that has been causing a lot of problems. Hydration is one of the situations where we are not well hydrated. And then definitely because of that, we are facing a lot of other problems. But Air is another uh, area where it is a lot of toxins are available because of the industrialization and the pollution. Food is another area where you will be seeing a lot of toxins, even though we are all actually looking at organic uh, food materials available. Yes, it's all okay, but still, even they will be exposed to the uh, environment toxin. Now, other than that, if you look at of course, daily products, if you look at basically your powder, your lipsticks, your, you know, your sour detergents, especially if you're looking at the, the perfumed uh, uh, conditioners which are available now. Have you ever tried uh, putting your hand in the conditioner and see it becomes so oily? You know, you feel, I feel very uncomfortable when I use uh, this one, but the aroma, it gives you so nice. You know, you feel, you know, you wash the cloth and soak it in the perfume of your uh, conditioner uh, for one week, it says, uh, but do you know how much of toxins are there it is you are exposed to by inhaling that? But we do not know. But we like the perfume and we are good. So in our daily products also, we are still exposed. Now, food and water, if you look, heavy pesticide exposure in the food is one of the very, very common because these two things we cannot avoid because we are still eating. And one of the very important, this is a glycophosphate is one of the very, very important toxin which really causes a lot of problems. And it has been added to most of the, so when, when we consume the animal protein that it could be a meat or fish or they are highly susceptible to be extremely exposed to the heavy metals, especially the mercury arsenic, which I already told you. And now initially it can be see what which they cannot be safely tolerated in a long run. So that means you get exposed for a very long time. Later on, you will start exposed. You will having the problem. Now, high levels of mercury is mostly seen in seafood. Now, natural toxin in organic food were not cooked properly. See, naturally, what they are talking is toxins in an organic food when it is not cooked properly. Also, they, we are facing, example, the fucomarines and the lecithin. So these are, I don't want to go into the details, but yes, 
now air definitely there uh, like uh, the daily products you are looking at uh, basically the shampoo makeup all these are all definitely uh, exposed uh, we are exposing ourselves to a lot of toxins now even the supplements and the medications we are taking it is all synthetically unless you go for some natural uh, methods of supplements wherein it is proven that they have a high quality uh, good grade uh, pharmaceutical medication which is you can consume in terms of probably vitamin c or so even the gelatin is often compounded uh, can you see here contaminated with the prions prions are also a very very because these words we wouldn't have heard of it but these are all there in our day to day life and we are seeing all this can you see the perfumes cleaning product air fresheners canned food mattresses mattress your mattress is also we are exposed you are sleeping on the mattress for 8 hours every day can you believe from there also we are getting that's why if you see a lot of things like you know a bamboo mattress available bamboo pillows are available why because they are trying to bring everything natural even the cotton a uh, good quality cotton is quite expensive now when you look at all this definitely we need to see how can we reduce the exposure of ourselves now imagine today a lot of children do have this problem especially allergy problem you would have seen and you would have gone to the skin specialist will be giving you some creams and you know there's nothing but a steroid cream and some extra skin you apply of course immediately externally it looks fine but internally the problem is still there after 3 months what will happen you will be still having the same so from one doctor to another doctor you will be going on uh, visiting doctors but at the end of the day there is no relief why because we have never treated the root cause which is the toxins and the uh, chemicals which are inside your body which which plays a very important role in in the form of detox unless you do that definitely it is not possible now what we need to understand is there are eight ways your toxins damage can happen poison number 1 it's the poisoning of the enzymes and definitely once the once the enzyme is necessary for your this one it definitely affects your metabolism now it also displays the structures of the minerals especially if you are looking at uh, zinc you know there are some heavy metals which will actually go take away the zinc from your body so especially when the zinc is taken away let me tell you diabetes is one disease where it net doesn't get under control because you have a zinc deficiency because there is a metal poisoning inside which goes and has an affinity for zinc so what happens automatically it can weaken some are very very beautifully go and steal the calcium if calcium is taken away you will get weaker bones or osteoporosis all this can happen so like this if you look at there are definitely affecting the then automatically it affects your organ first it affects the metabolism the enzymes then it affects it then what happens you can look at definitely when there is a damage for your dna automatically your aging will reduce if your aging is reduced what will happen you will die early that's it there is a lot of degenerative process happening in your body and you will die and it can modify the gene expression now this is something where an epigenetic i, I would be able to let you know that for example if you are a smoker now this is this life you are you are a smoker and then you you have a child what will happen is the damage which you cause to the dna in your uh, epigenetics what will happen is it will skip your child maybe even your grandchild or great grandchild that means four generation whatever wrong you did in the terms of modifying the gene expression can be expressed in the fourth generation so that means to say what wrong you do in this life now you are giving a beautiful gift for your great grandchildren to have the problem because of the smoking because of the genetic modification you are going to your great grandchildren or going to face a problem now you tell me why are you creating a situation if you create for yourself and you die is still okay because it's your responsibility but why are we here to give a problem to our children or to our grandchildren or to our great grandchildren we are no one to transmit what we are not supposed to so when you know that you are not supposed to do certain things why are you so this is where you need to tickle your brain and then think am i doing the right thing please change by smoking you are not giving a, a benefit to yourself and to the society and to the environment and to your future generation so why are you smoking then so we need to really really rethink and then please invest that money whatever you are spending on smoking in terms of uh, probably you can buy some vitamins and take 
you know there are so many things you can do but you need to relook into what you are doing it's enough of damage the universe is going through now with the with the terahertz coming in as that particular gentleman was telling we are all going into the, there are a lot of upliftment happening but at the same time we are creating so much of damage to our own self with knowingly or unknowingly purposely or without a purpose but ultimately we are damaging so we need to change now once there is a damage to your cell membrane definitely they don't respond to you then it in, see i was talking to you about the polycystic uh, ovarian cyst and all definitely there will be a hormonal imbalance now when you have all these situation so what will happen even being having a toxins inside your body even if your body wants to throw the toxin out it cannot detoxify naturally naturally your body is built to detoxify but it cannot do because it really really damages and then from there your body is helpless so now let's change and let's move forward to see how we are going to help our body now what happens if your toxic deposits are it can be from blurred vision to memory loss to acid reflux to central nervous system yes there are so many problems you and one of the main problem can you see irritable bowel you know where people are going to the toilet very frequently they eat the food go to the toilet eat the food go to the toilet what happens that means to say the food is not absorbed properly number one and how about the nutrients definitely there won't be any nutrients so if the nutrients are not supplied taken up by your body how how can you face the situation you will not be able to face a situation of corona corona is such a small organism your body cannot face that why because proper nutrition is not there in your body and you need minimum of 92 minerals trace elements and micronutrients for your body for it to function optimally right in the same way if your mercedes car which you are buying at probably 1 million no 1 million ringgits or us dollars or whatever money it is you buy the car you just imagine that if the petrol what you put inside the car is an adulterated petrol you just imagine what would be the uh, what would be the situation for the car it's definitely going to get get damaged even though it is 1 million doesn't mean that 1 million it can do all the jobs properly no right in the same way your body also it's a million dollar and of course we cannot equate that with money our body we cannot equate that money but as the poisonings are get collected in your body definitely there is a lot of problem you will be facing now as i told you headache is very very common problem most of us feel lethargy means feeling very tired sleepiness irritable and the body will smell very very badly the moment you know your body is smelling badly that means there is a lot of not good things happening inside your body it can be your gut not very healthy a lot of toxins inside your body now most of the common uh, problem i am facing and i am seeing in my patients is constipation you know they don't pass regular bowels but even then a lot of people will be passing bowels every day but they are not very healthy so what is the problem that means to say in spite of all this the toxin is not removed so once the toxin is not removed your body definitely will have all the problems under the sun so what you need to do is we need to change we need to work on a definitely certain situation what you need to do like alcohol consumption you has to be less why we say alcohol consumption because that affects your liver metabolism liver needs to can you believe uh, one uh, just of course Uh, anything within limits is i have no problem and you all can continue with people who are taking alcohol don't think that i'm telling you not to take alcohol it's your choice i have no issues but don't over limit yourself so that it you damage your liver so you should know where to stop and where how much to consume it's up to you now it definitely you need to focus on your sleep which is very very important and drinking more water this is where terahertz comes in amazingly we have a technology we have a beautiful system with the good properties of the water so we need to look at water so this is where this platform today we are talking about terahertz water and then of course in a detox you need the water to be uh, used to so that you can detox naturally and you have to reduce the amount of sugar processed food and then of course you should eat a lot of antioxidant rich food that means all the colored vegetables colored fruits you need to consume so that it make your healthy more Uh, your body becomes more healthier and you should reach or uh, eat a lot of food with a lot of food. so yogurt is one of the very very common food and uh, uh, kefir is another wonderful uh, tool for uh, uh, putting a lot of uh, uh, prebiotics and probiotics into your system and other than that you should decrease your salt in that way of course i would recommend you can go for a bamboo salt which is definitely much healthier and better 
and you should become more active at least in a day you need to spend two hours for your own self in form of going for exercise breathing exercise and your silencing your mind is also one of the very very important so you can go for listen music and then and definitely you need to look at holistically how you are going to help your body it can be from allopathy to homeopathy to ayurvedic to any one you know naturopathy it's up to you what you need to complement your body you see which is the best for yourself and look for it and then start moving forward now the good news is about uh, the overload what we can do is if you can restrict all this definitely you will be able to make your body much more healthier so to for that what you need to do is change the way you you have to see like for example if you are going to take a lot of plant based food you know plant based so that means we are talking about vegetarian food plant based food your liver kidneys and other digestive they can detoxify naturally so you didn't need to put pressure for them to detoxify they can do it naturally and uh, fasting also plays a very very important role in your uh, detox and very important as soon as you get up in the morning at least for the first one hour do not expose yourself with the electronic gadget so you need to detox yourself from electronic gadgets as well and especially night time if for example you are going to sleep at 10 o'clock just example 10 o'clock that means you have to switch off from the phone by 8 o'clock so that means you give a two hours time so that your melatonin is produced naturally and thereby you can go to sleep naturally now i see a lot of people coming to me they are all very anxious you know 30 35 years they will come and say doctor i can't sleep but why of course we can give some reason you have stress in your life you have this and that everything we can give but at the end of the day they will be using the phone until they go to sleep 12 o'clock they go to sleep they will still be watching because they say i am working doctor i cannot switch off my phone i still need to uh, see the phone so that i work but at the end of the day your body says look madam whatever you are doing whatever you are doing are you doing a favor for me by looking at the phone and are you doing any favor for me are you paying me any rental are you paying money for my oxygen what i am uh, trying to pick up from the air and then uh, sending it to all your organs uh, heart will ask you are you giving me any benefit for me in the form of good antioxidants good exercise nothing right i am asking everything free you have to just do all this so that i can do my work naturally so your body will say madam you are earning money to buy a building buy whatever you want in the materialistic world in the same way what are you doing for me if you can do something i don't mind i am very happy but the body will do everything for you to do what is the best for your ability and to keep your body very healthy it will do now so there are uh, one of the easiest is exercising is one of the way so that means to say you need to minimum of 35 to 45 minutes uh, you need to go for regular exercise it can vary from a proper yoga yoga especially the surya namaskar the sun uh, blessing there are 12 steps in that if you can do that uh, minimum of 25 times uh, that's as good as or equivalent to walking 1 to 2 kilometers because your body becomes so flexible see many of us we think that just by going for a walking we are very healthy no it is not let me be very frank with you it doesn't work if you want to just go on walking alone and think that you are going to become a healthy individual sorry how flexible are you how how flexible are your joints what are you doing so you need to along with walking you need to add on to your body wherein you flex your body uh, left and right up and down all this flexibility should come this is where yoga plays a very very important role now once killer walking it is fantastic that means even walking a brisk walking is very very important the reason why say brisk is you need to uh, enhance or increase minimum four times in a day this is what you need to do if you can do that maybe climbing the stairs up and down you know walking a little faster or maybe park your car a little far and then you walk to your office all this will definitely give an advantage for your body to move forward and if for example you do all these uh, you are reducing your caffeine you are reducing your smoking and many things you are doing so what will happen is if there is an alternative way wherein there are products other ayurvedic products or homeopathy products available to promote a detox please look into it and then uh, see how best you can do it of course from my side we do have a beautiful detox system which is uh, which you can actually uh, call up and find out and then i will be able to let you know how good and what are the procedures for you to have a 
detox. Now, water plays a very, very important in your detox. So what we need to do, what is a basic ideal drinking water is, it should be drinkable, that is portable, number one. It, the pH should be 7.5 to 8 is good enough. Number three, you, uh, you need to have your total dissolved solvents between 50 to 200, good enough, but maximum WHO allows is 500, but 500 is too much actually, okay? Now, other than that, if you're looking at the oxidation reduction potential, ORP, it's basically when there is a free radical damage, these guys will go and steal the oxygen molecule from your, uh, the, whatever the cells down there. So one oxygen molecule is less. So what happens when there is a ORP higher, it donates one oxygen to it. It's just like a person don't have a little money and then you are donating to them, they will feel happy and they know what to do. The same way your cells also, when less of oxygen, automatically when the more cells are working without oxygen this is a condition where it leads you to a situation called cancer because there is no much of oxygen there so what you need to do regular breathing exercise and regular walking and uplifting yourself with a proper exercise definitely supply more oxygen to your body and especially with people like us living in a city there are less of trees and it's only concrete jungle we are here definitely the oxygen concentration may be less so this is where you need to uh, uh, choose once in a while maybe in a month once or twice go to a totally a greenery place wherein you have a lot of oxygen you know uh, maybe a waterfall go to the nature where a uh, seaside or a riverside spend some time pick up a lot of good things from there and then make your body a little more healthier now other than that your water must be free from all the bacteria viruses and parasites and then it should not contain any heavy metals and chemicals and pesticides. This is very important. So that means to say, well, such of those who are here down, if you are drinking terahertz water is good, but for you to even terahertz the water, your water should be uh, with all these qualities. That means to say, you need to have a very good filtration system outside your house for you to have a clean drinking water from outside. The moment it comes inside, Definitely inside also, you definitely need one more filter so that the water, what you're going to drink is a pure with all these qualities. Now, when you have all these qualities and then when you terahertz this water, it becomes a beautiful uh, situation for your body to absorb this clean water. And then once all this is done, your body knows what to do. Your body is the best doctor for you and it knows what to do. So just give your body what it needs. Now, other than that, there are a lot of people down here, I would say, they are not only confused, but they are actually confusing other people also because they are not in the, uh, in the what I would say, in the sense of understanding that definitely every century, every uh, decade, there is a new revolution coming in. When there is a new revolution coming in, there is a lot of other negative uh, effects or negative things being spread on that particular uh, like for example even when uh, Thomas Alva Edison was invented the uh, bulb for light he went through uh, so many difficult times and it is not just Thomas Alva Edison who invented the bulb there are a lot of other people who contributed to the situation where today you and I we are talking about LED bulbs and yes but the light situation from Thomas Alva Edison until now so even Thomas Alva Edison faced a lot of uh, critics and then definitely the situation. So the same way today, terahertz technology is new, number one. If you want to know more about terahertz technology, the question to you would be, is how much time are you ready to spend to go and research the terahertz technology and find out the research product, scientific background, all this, how much are you ready to spend? If you are not ready to spend, how can, you, how can we go on complaining about this particular terahertz technology that it is doing a lot of damage here? Yes, I do agree that there are everything has a limitation. So anything above the limitation you go is a poison, whether it be it terahertz technology, be it your phone technology. Just let me talk about the phone. The telephone, what you're using, you're not supposed to use more than five minutes keeping the phone near your ears 
Do you know how much of damage it is causing if you are And most of us, we are all so-called business people. We are holding the phone over for hours together talking about the business. How much of damage are you causing to your own self through the phone? Now, what are you doing about it? You are not doing anything about it. Now, you go to a vegetable vendor and then you are buying a carrot, right? Uh, especially in uh, people out there who love to go and buy uh, vegetables for the Pasamalam. Now, let me tell you, in Pasamalam, do you go and ask the Pasamalam guys, uh, the carrot what you buy? He, he, of course, he sells for five ringgit, you buy three boxes. But what happens? Did you ask the shopkeeper, hey, how much of toxins is there inside? Uh? Is it organic? Uh, uh, who is the farmer who grew this uh, uh, carrot? You know, how good, is, uh, how good is the quality? How much of vitamin A is available in this carrot? Do you or do we? I don't ask questions because, of course, I am like the same ignorant like you and Lee. So what's happening is we are actually when small, small things we ignore. But when there is a something good available in the market, what we need to understand is you need to work for, for it. Now go inside, see what is good in it. Pick up the good things. If it is good for you, go for it. If it is not good for you, even if a grain of your soul or your heart says, hey, don't drink this water, huh? please don't drink this water, whether it be it a terrace water, or ionized water, any water. Like I, I, I shared this before, there was one doctor, he drinks only directly the tap water. He is 55 years old and he drinks only tap water. He doesn't have a filtration system at home. And he says, I'm okay. But that is his approach. He feels very happy with it. Now, can you go and tell him, hey, please drink terrace water or ionized water? No. He says, I don't need it because I'm very healthy. But what problem he is having inside the body, God only knows. It's only his journey. So the same way, when the technology is new, there is a lot of hype. There's a lot of confusion happening. But my request to every one of you here is, let's get into it. Can we share the good things about whatever is available? If there is something not okay, maybe we should not even look into it. But for me, in the past four months, with my patients and with my uh, this one, along with the Terahaz water, Definitely, I do recommend a lot of other supportive, uh, supportive uh, treatments like breath, proper breathing, proper exercise technique, food habit. It can be right from salt to sugar to your multivitamins. Everything plays it. And sometimes even just talking to them uh, with a positive attitude gives them a lot of. Uh, it's it's a mind detox. You know, they feel very happy. So in that way, let's all walk together. If there is anything we all can share, let's share the goodness all with each other and then we move forward. But at the end of the day, it is the individual responsibility we need to take and then we need to move forward. So now in this 2021, terahertz is just coming in and booming on. There are a lot of good things going to come. It's we who have to pick it up. It's we who have to use it and then get the best out of it. So in that way, terahertz uh, has come out with this beautiful, simple, uh, portable, easy to use and then terahertz your water and make things much more easier for you to uh, use the water. So, of course, you need to have a proper filtered water, then you terahertz it. Definitely, there are a lot of good things. Now, there, of course, there are uh, good properties which uh, this particular terahertz uh, resonated water gives you antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal, antioxidant, anti radiation, low viscosity, angulation increases. Then, of course, absorption of water is three times linear arrangement of the water molecule. Then supports your energy and the telomere and of course the shelf life this is 11th one today i added it the shelf life of a resonated terahertz resonated water is a little longer you can keep it for six weeks minimum but it has been tried for even eight uh, months and still it holds on with it so there is a good thing so at the end of the day there are good things and of course if you're going to overdo also definitely you will have a problem so that is where you need to know what is your limitation if you are a healthy individual, maybe you'll be able to handle the situation more easily after drinking the water. But if you already have an existing diseases like your diabetes, hypertension, you need to be a little more careful because uh, your body, way, as I told you, the toxins are already inside and they are creating some problem. And when you drink this water, suddenly there will a lot of other situations will come. So automatically you will be concentrating on that situation. It can be ranging from aches and pains to uh, diarrhea to feeling of sleepiness, all this can happen when you're drinking the water. But what I'm trying to tell you is definitely your body, when there are a lot of poison inside your body and you're trying to detox them, you know, trying to help your body to push them out, you may face a little situation. It is difficult. I, I agree with you. I am with you. But the situation is what you need to understand is 
there is a beginning for anything. Any goodness you want in your life, you need to start off somewhere. You need to take the, it's your life. You need to take a charge for it and you need to work on it. See, at the end of the day, whether you have diabetes or hypertension or kidney issue, at the end of the day, what happens? The doctors can give you medication. At the end of the day, you have a problem. You still go back to the doctor. You get admitted. He pricks you. He puts you on IV line. He puts you on a dialysis. All this is, they are doing it. Of course, we from our side, we are doing it for you. But at the end of the day, who is going through the pain? It is you who are going through the pain. So what you need to understand is you need to understand that taking your own responsibility, but take the guided responsibility with the right beautiful souls out there. There are many doctors and many beautiful souls out there like me who are trying to help the society in the form of assisting in the different, different ways. There are doctors. It's not only me. There are a lot of people. It's you who have to look for uh, such kind of people so that you take the assistance. So one of the secrets of uh, getting into a healthy journey is compliment yourself in your life with goodness. Be, feel good about yourself. Feel the goodness. Compliment yourself. Stop complaining about anything in life. The more you complain, the more problem you face. Just an example. You go to a police station, you can only complain there. Now, do you think once you complain, the problem is solved? No. It may be solved. It may not be solved. But I do not know. But what I say is, if you complain, you what happens it's a headache for you to go there come back go there but if you can compliment what happens everything starts playing a very beautiful role compliment your body as much as possible and when you're drinking this water you have all the good benefits now what are the benefits by drinking the resonated water is your cells become healthy the cells have better function better control of a disease and a better detox now once again the detox is one of the very very important rule for you to become healthy and this is where water is a, one of the easiest way to detox is the water. And that too, when you have a terahertz uh, water, it's much more easier because the terahertz water molecule is so small, definitely it can help you to become better and then definitely it can do a slow detox. But do not expect the uh, water to detox all the heavy metals. And yes, it will do, but to a limited extent. Because if at all, if you have to remove the heavy metals, there are other methodology you need to work on and then slowly remove it. It, it. it is like, you know, you want to remove something, you need to add on something, it goes attached to it and then remove the uh, toxins. So this is how we need to work on. So these are all, uh, of course, a little, uh, I would say, a deeper way of uh, detox, which as a doctor, we, we come in and uh, there are a lot of other naturopaths down there and then they also can help you. So anything above limitation is a poison. This is a standard rule for anything, be it a terahertz water or be it an ionized water or be it anything. It is a poison. So that means to do who has to create the limitation for you. It's you who have to see what is the best limit your body can take up and what are the additional support you need to give to your body. If your mind is clear, if your thoughts are clear, and if you are a person of complimenting every and every second you go on complimenting your body, let me guarantee you, your body will call the right person and they will guide you with the right supportive, uh, whatever advice is, and then you'll be able to get the solution. So getting a solution, start complimenting your body. When you compliment your body, everything starts falling in place. And of course, when you're complimenting, maybe sometimes there will be some little bit of changes here and there. And it can cause a little bit of discomfort to you. But what I say is the discomfort what is causing for you for the present is not definitely more painful than having the disease later on. And for example, if you have a cancer, imagine the pain you go through, the radiation, the chemical, uh, chemotherapy, all these are all very, very painful. So in that way, when you are changing your body to become healthier, it will definitely tell you, sir, all the while you didn't do anything to me. Now you are trying to do so lightly. I may give you a little discomfort. You better bear with me. So this is how the body will speak to you. So you need to understand that and then start working on it. Now, what are the advantages? As I told you, I'm repeating it. It can be boiled. It can put on under pressure. You know, there are a lot of good things about the terahertz water. So you need to just be clear. And such of those who are all here, of course, uh, people who recommended you, Please go get back to them and then get more details. And always you can come to our uh, uh, company office and then pick up a lot of good information which we are sharing. And then what you need to do is, uh, do's and don'ts are always there, especially when you're talking about uh, terrace water. 
please follow the instructions properly and please guide because every one of you cannot become like a doctor but of course your goodness of uh, helping uh, your fellow human beings is something amazing which i am with you but what i would say is especially when you're recommending you please be a little careful especially if they are having multiple disease just uh, be a little more careful when you advise them start with a lower dose especially what you need to do is you need to let them know to start with 250 ml only that means quarter of a glass just 250 ml you start for the whole day then increase it to 500 ml then to 1 liter then to 1 and a half liters so this is how you need to go very slowly so that let the body uh, take its time for it to change itself and then accommodate itself so what i am trying to uh, give you a take home message is you need to balance yourself you need to balance even if you want to uh, for example you want to recommend terahaz water you need to be balanced to let know whom to give whom not to give but of course you can give the terahaz water to everyone under the sun who knows the person whom you are recommending has all the multiple problems in the in life forget about multiple problems just imagine if, if a person is in the complaining mode all the time see there are few people you would have seen their job is to only complain about anything you give to them they'll complain that their job is only complaining now incidentally you are a person you get to know such person and then you are so excited about terahertz water and then you want to just give and you start giving this water to them definitely they are in a complaining mode because they are already energy fields are in a complaining mode the moment one sip of water they drink they'll say hey, i feel very irritation you know after drinking this water i'm feeling like coughing my throat is having a problem i feel like you know all this everything will come under the sun so what happens you get damn scared you know hey what happened huh? i just gave only one glass of water and this person is giving a complaint so automatically your mind starts working and thinking that hey did the water do anything wrong to this person now but actually it is not the water which is creating the problem to them it is their mindset so basically most of the human beings the mindset is that they are in a complaining mode so once in a complaining mode let me tell you even god comes to them also they will not be able to improve themselves because they are in that mode now whatever said and done what you need to do is if you think it's good share it it is up to them but of course you need to have a limitation you draw a line how much can you help them and how much can you uh, do for them do not overdo the, for things for them in the in the name of trying to help them to get out of the disease you cannot for example if a person has a, a kidney issues you think you can just by giving this water and they can become well and then they want to go and they are going to give you a, a nobel prize for you to recommending this water is it nobody is going to do that so what's happening is you need to be balanced so let's all work on the same common platform as balance is a very very important way to give where not to give where to recommend where not to recommend it is you who have to decide and be very smart be a smart human being we human beings are very very smart in the god's creation so let's be very smart so what you need to do for you to become healthy definitely detox is the first step okay now i will be speaking about the other forms of detox uh, in the maybe in the next week i will uh, share with you that will be totally a different uh, ball game probably with the mind detox let me look into it what comes then i will give you so avoid all that accumulates as toxins so if i am going to tell you that your powder your liquids all these are all causing a problem so what you need to just start reducing it slowly it may not be easy for you to stop using it but if chances are there go for more of uh, organic go for more of natural one but at the same time what you need to do is try fasting weekly once and i am telling fasting is for every human being but if you are a diabetic or a hypertension or you have a problem you need to plan according to your body's requirement and then you start working on it being a vegetarian definitely will help you to detox naturally and your body feels much more healthier when you take a vegetarian diet now just imagine a vegetable you take a mixy put some little vegetables and blend it within seconds the whole vegetable gets blended very easily and smoothly and faster but the same mixer it works on electricity you put a few pieces of mutton or chicken in it and then try to start grinding it do you know how much of difficulty the mixy goes through to blend that particular non vegetarian it's it's going to be it takes time and the motor also you can feel the sound different you know because it's finding it difficult now the same thing when your body is pushed to the limitation beyond what happens your body also so for when you eat a non vegetarian it takes up to 
uh, automatically around eight hours for it to digest the uh, whatever meat you are eating. There is something I want to share. Huh? Recently, I had given a detox to a particular one of my patients. Then the patient, the uh, next day morning, uh, she called me and told, Doctor, I had noodles one week ago, Doctor. And after the detox you gave me, today only morning I'm seeing all the noodles coming out. You know? Now you tell me, what was the noodles doing for one week inside the intestine? And she has been passing motion every day for the past one week. But what happens only after a proper detox, even that noodles which was probably it has stuck inside and hiding and playing some hide and seek in your body. Now this is how we do not know that a lot of things are playing a role in our body. And uh, you know, even uh, if I have to tell you that uh, even the worms, you know, how many of you are all uh, deworming yourself every six months? This I would recommend you, if at all, if you are eating non-vegetarian, please deworm yourself every six months once. But what you and I would have seen is only children below 12 years, when they go to a pediatrician, the pediatrician will say, have you dewormed it? It is not the worms are only living in a child. Even in an adult, you will have definitely worms. And in my hair uh, epigenetic, uh, this one, I have seen a lot of people, parasites are hiding inside. But of course, you're not going to see in the toilet whether the worms are coming out, right? But definitely, there is a situation wherein uh, there are parasites. So you need to deworm yourself every six months once. Please give an opportunity for your body to throw all this. It's a uh, uh, detox of your parasites, you know, living organism. So, and give a lot of, uh, what I would say, good bacteria to your uh, intestine by eating a lot of yogurt, you know, kaffir, all these you need to. Now, mental detox is also very, very important. As I told you, mental detox is when people are set their mindset with all the complaining mode, definitely they need. This is where meditation comes in, proper breathing comes in. This is where uh, you can have a retreat. You know, there are a lot of people out there doing so many things. See what is good for you, go for it. Coming back to the environmental detox, how frequently do you change in your bedroom, your cot, and your uh, cupboard and your wardrobes. Most of the wardrobes are all fixed. It's okay. But how many times you take out all the cloths from your uh, cupboard, rearrange and put it back, clean it up, rearrange it. You're supposed to do it every three months. This is something called an environmental detox. How many of us are doing it? How many of us are actually uh, changing the cot, removing it and then changing everything, putting back the cot? Now, why do we do this is in Feng Shui, if you're looking at there is something called energy. Now you need to give an energy shift. Your energy gets clogged if your particular, uh, whatever your cupboard or any items kept there for a very long time. The energy circulation is hampered. This is when, be it your living room, your sofa sets, wherever it is, you need to change every three months, remove it or place it black in the same way or put a different situation. Change your uh, area of the particular items which you have been keeping it for a very long time. This you need to do. Growing plants and then being with nature is one of the best detox. You need to do that. And you won't believe in my home in a ninth floor, I have a lot of plants. And uh, the good news is uh, we have a pigeon uh, which has hatched uh, eggs, uh, two pigeons, and they are all growing so beautifully. Every day morning when I go see them, uh, so beautifully they are growing. I, I just wonder, birds are only three senses and you and me are six senses. Those beautiful birds, so beautifully, even though I put a mesh for the birds not to come in, uh, the birds can fly as though like a flight, they come and land into my uh, uh, you know, balcony. Directly they do it. And nowadays they have become so positive in their attitude. Uh, when I go there and try to chase them, or they, can, they don't fly, you know, they will stand there and just stare at me and say, hello boss. This environmental, this universe is for me also. It's not only for you. Just because you have a building here doesn't mean you own this house. I'm also owner of this universe. God has sent me to enjoy. So what happens is even animals have their own uh, uh, thinking. And uh, when you start combining yourself with uh, nature, everything starts falling in place. And you will definitely, definitely uh, live a very happy, peaceful life. And a beautiful journey will happen when you start creating a lot of positive things in your life. So detox plays a very, very important role. So now with this, I think it's almost an hour which I've been speaking about detox. I think today I have given uh, a little different glimpse of uh, a detox. So until I meet you back once again, 
looking forward definitely every saturday it has become a routine for me i get excited on the saturday morning but i start preparing myself from friday and i will be sending to angie what is the topic the very next day but you won't believe i wouldn't have prepared anything but i got up early in the morning around 4:35 o'clock prepare for today's one so i hope i am giving you all a wonderful information which will help you to complement your life right complement your life as much as possible and let's join together complement this universe complement every soul we meet in our life and then we all live in bliss this is what we all want we want joy we want happiness we want blissfulness all this can happen only when we all join together that is where the we comes in so we all join together and until i see you back again let me take leave thank you very much and have a wonderful weekend and i will be leaving immediately because i need to go to kl right away so maybe next week only i'll be able to answer all your questions thank you very much and have a wonderful weekend thank you Hey, thank you very much, Dr. Prabhu. Yeah. Yeah, I need to leave to KL right now because we okay. have our Tara's meeting. I'm I have to leave shortly. Okay. 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 So anyway, yeah. you handle it, Angie. Thank you so much, and I will see you next week. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Prabhu. See